who's the best team in the NFL, bro? We're through five weeks in the NFL, and I can't wait for week six. Week six, week five was an absolute banger of a week, bro. We had Tampa Bay, and the Falcons game was crazy. We had the Ravens, and the Bengals game was crazy. Uh, the Texans and the Bills was crazy. The Colts and the Jags was crazy. Um, yeah. Um, and then the rookie quarterbacks, Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels, are going crazy. So it's lit, bro. It's lit. The Cardinals beat the freaking Niners, bro. It was a crazy week. But you guys are here for a reason. We're about to rank every NFL team in the league. As you can see, we have Super Bowl contenders, playoff teams, good but injured or it's still too early. You know, we're not really sure if they're going to be good yet, but we don't think they're that bad. We got mid Bad teams, and you know, LaShawn McCoy said Dak is ass ass. We got teams that are ass ass, so let's get into it, bro. We got the Seattle, not the Seattle Seahawks, we got the Cardinals. Um, I'm gonna go in mid, bro. I know they beat the uh, I know they beat the uh, the Niners, but I don't know, bro. Like, they're not, I don't think they're a playoff team, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't know if they're good but injured or it's still early. Actually, you know what? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because they beat the Niners. Um, I'll give them that. Uh, the Falcons, bro. I think the Falcons can go to the playoffs, bro. That defense is uh, the defense is pretty tough. Kirk is clutch, bro. Kirk is clutch. They've had three insane games and insane winners. They could have beat the Steelers week one. And what was their other loss? Um, I think they lost to the Chiefs, right? Yeah, so, like, they look good. Ravens, best team in the league over the last three weeks. Um, they could honestly be 5-0. and They got unlucky with two of their games. Isaiah Likely's Got the Kevin Durant toe on the out of bounds. And then the game against the Raiders, they just kind of choked that because they thought the game was over. But yeah, like, it was good. The Bills, back to back L's. Um, lost to the Texans, lost to the Ravens. I think the Bills are still a good team. Um, they might have to make a move, maybe sign a veteran wide receiver or something because I don't think those are wide receivers that are good enough to win a Super Bowl because Josh Allen is not Mahomes. He can't win with whatever he's giving. Um, Josh Allen needs a little bit more skill on the outside, but James Cook is tough, Kincaid's tough, um, I just feel like they're always injured. Uh, the Panthers, ass ass, come on now, we already knew that though, we already freaking knew that bro, um, the Bears, I'm gonna go good but it's early bro, good but it's early, um, they had a good defense, if, De if DeAndre Swift is running the ball, Caleb Williams looks like a good quarterback if, you know, he's got a run game. For sure. He looks like a good quarterback if he's got a run game. And then he has three great weapons on the outside. Adunze, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore had his best game of the season. <sighs> I'm talking too fast. But I think they're good. It's just still a little early. Um, the Bengals aren't ass-ass. They're bad, though. They're bad. Like, you have Jamar Chase, you got T. Higgins. But that defense is atrocious. Their defense gives up 29 points a game. And their offense scores 28 points a game. So it's not a recipe for success if I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Um, the Browns are ass ass again. They're back with the paper bags over their head, all that type of stuff. But the crazy thing is, Deshaun Watson hasn't looked like an NFL quarterback for five weeks. He plays the Philadelphia Eagles next week, and we all know he's going to look like uh, 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 Texans before the massages. Uh, Deshaun Watson. So unlucky for us Eagles fans, we're going to get cooked by the Browns next week. But it's okay, bro. It's just football. Like it doesn't really ruin my day or whatever. But it is whatever you know. Whatever it is, uh, the Cowboys. The Cowboys. The Cowboys, bro. I'm going mid, bro. And actually, they're injured, bro. Mike is out. Cooks was out. Deron Bland's out for the year. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go good, but it's still early. And it's uh and they're injured because they are injured. The Broncos, the Broncos are mid, bro. They have three wins, but I'd say they're mid. Um, yeah, Bo Nix looks like a capable quarterback. The defense is looking better and better each week. P2 is the best wire, uh, corner in the league, so I think that's lit. Uh, the Lions had a bye week. I still put them in Super Bowl contenders. They're four and one, I think, or three and one, three and one. They're pretty good. Um, the Packers, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's like they could be so good, but Jordan Love just makes like a couple plays a game. Jordan Love is like a better version of Anthony Richardson. Like sometimes they just make insane plays, but sometimes they just make bonehead plays, and it's just like no way he just did that. Uh, the Texans, I'm not really sold on the Texans. Like, I don't see them beating the Chiefs or the Ravens in the playoffs at all. Um, but they're definitely a playoff team. I don't know if they're competing for a Super Bowl this year. Um, their defense has a few holes they got to fill. And they got to get Joe Mixon back because without him, their run game is looking scarce. 
Uh, the Colts, that's a bad team. But shout out Joe Flacco, bro. It's cool seeing Joe Flacco ball out and get some buckets. Um, that's pretty cool to see. Another ass-ass team. I know the Jags just beat the Colts, but I still think the Colts are a better team than the Jags. The Jags just had to get that win. The Kansas City Chiefs just went to 5-0 and against the New Orleans Saints. Um, you know, Saints was 2-0, and lost three straight games, which is embarrassing. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. The Raiders! They were a bad team. Now they're ass-ass, bro. Literally ass-ass. I'm going to show you all last week's um, tier list, too, so you can compare. See if there's any differences. Chargers didn't play, but they're a bad team. Uh... The Rams are good, but it's early. Like, yeah, they don't have a good record whatsoever. What are they, one and four? But they're literally missing their entire offense, bro. Their offensive line is hurt. Um, if it goes like this for, like, the next four weeks, like, if they're, like, one and seven, bro, like, I just got to put them in bad teams. Um, but they have a great running back. And if Puka and Cup come back anytime soon, they might be okay. The Dolphins, that's a bad team. I know they just won. But without a quarterback that can actually throw the ball from more than five yards down the field and get the ball into their playmaker's hands, um, they're not going anywhere. But the Vikings, another 5-0 and team, um, just beat the Jets in London. About to go on their bye week 5-0. and They should be happy, bro. I think the Chiefs also have a bye. So both 5-0 and teams have a bye. Um, shout out to them, for real. The Patriots, that's a bad team, bro. That's a bad team. It might be time to give uh, young Drake May a chance to ball out. Um, the Saints, that's mid, bro. That's straight mid. This is the Sean Payton mid era. Um, Derek Carr, first two games looked like LeBron James. And then the next, you know, three games, he's looked like DJ Mabanga. If anybody y'all know who that is, then shout out y'all. Y'all know ball. But uh, the Giants beat Seattle. They're still a bad team. Um, the Jets are mid, bro. Like Aaron Rodgers is washed. Brees Hall is washed. Garrett Wilson was solid. Um, yeah. The Eagles, good, but it's early, bro. Like, yeah, they're 2-2. Two and two. Um, They've lost some close games. They got blown. They lost the two NFC South teams. The Falcons look good. The Bucks look good. So, you know, I can't really be mad at those losses. But we'll see after this bye week, bro. They just had a bye. They play the Browns at home. They should win that game, but we'll see. Um, the Steelers, I hate to do it, bro. I hate to do it to the Steelers, bro, because I like Justin Fields a lot. But last night, like, they have a depleted Dallas defense. They should beat them, bro. They should have beat Dallas last night. Maybe I'm salty that they didn't win, but they should have beat Dallas. Um, Niners, good but injured, missing the best player in the league or their best running back in the league, Christian McCaffrey. Seattle, mid. You lost to the Giants. You sold my parlay. Yeah, I'm mad. Um, so you go in the mid section. Uh, the, the Bucks are a playoff team. <laughs> the Titans are ass-ass. And Washington, are they a playoff team or are they Super Bowl contenders? For the sake of the video, bro, Super Bowl contenders, bro. They look like one of the best teams. They're a top three team in the NFC right now. Top three team in the NFC. Damn, everybody good but injured is an NFC team. I didn't even realize that. But, okay, look at this, and then we'll look at last week's list. This is last week's list, so let's see. Washington went up. Seattle and uh, the Steelers went down. The same, the same, the same, the same, the same. Um, they moved up, they moved up, down, 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 down. Any of these mid teams move up? Nah, it's still looking about the same. They moved up to bad teams and they moved down to ass. So, yeah, this is this week's list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you already know, one a week, bro. Every single week. Be ready on every Tuesday. These are dropping, bro. Two videos are dropping every Tuesday. So, make sure you all stay freaking tuned, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will be back, bro. Appreciate y'all, man.